Today we're going to take a quick look at the replacement motor solenoid 100 amp continuous duty for Fisher snowplow. Now this is going to replace that important motor solenoid for your Fisher snowplow. It's going to be a connection point between our plow and our battery to help prevent any overloads or any issues with our vehicle or with our plow. You'll get the solenoid bracket itself and then a jumper wire. This you might not need depending on your setup. If you have the cable operated hydraulic system you will need to connect one end of your jumper to one of the posts down here and then up to the top. But if you have the solenoid valve hydraulic system you won't need that. It does come with instructions to show you how that's supposed to be hooked up there depending on which system you have. As far as dimensions, our solenoid is going to be about three and a half inches tall going from the bottom of the bracket to the top of that bolt. The solenoid itself is going to be about one and a half inches wide. Our bracket overall is going to be three inches wide from the center of the attachment hole to the center of the other one. It's going to be about two and an eighth of an inch, but you will have about three eighths of an inch of play there. That's about how far apart that is. Front to back, it's going to be about two and three quarters of an inch, or two and a quarter inch wide, excuse me. Our jumper wire overall is going to be about five inches long. And you will want to note that one of our ring terminals is going to be the larger than the other. So if you do need to use this, the smaller end will go on the bottom and the larger ring terminal will go up to the top. But again, you might not need this for your setup, but basically you're just going to replace your old solenoid with the new one exactly how the old one was set up. And that's going to do it for our look at the replacement motor, motor solenoid for one, with 100 amp continuous duty for Fisher snowplow.